What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel and we got a very important video for you today. So, Mark Goddard accidentally exposed the UFC. He was doing a podcast and he mentioned why he never refed Leon Edwards. And you would think Mark Goddard being from the UK and Leon Edwards being from the UK that their careers would have crossed over many times, right? You're wrong because Mark explained it in this video that he was Leon Edwards' first MMA coach. And surprisingly enough, he has a choice of if he wants to ref Leon or not. Let's take a listen. Are there any fighters you will not, you can't, like, ref? There is, and people don't know this. Well, here's a classic case, another one. Le Leon Edwards, you've never saw me referee Leon Edwards in the UFC, and you never will. Why? Because I was Leon Edwards' first coach, MMA, way, way, way back when, when it was just an amateur. But, again, the common sense element for me, like I said, even though the link is, who knew then when Leon yeah. first walked in, that's another story, when Leon first walked into that gym as a raw amateur, but you've never saw me re referee him, and you never will, because we're just keep it you know out the way i just don't want any hassle and i don't want to be put in a predicament where i'm making a call that could go against him so it's both ways i'll tell you a quick story so you see that he's saying hey i don't want to mess up leon edwards's career so i'm gonna take myself out of the equation right but in my opinion why that is the right thing to do and shout out for mark for doing that is it shouldn't be his choice the uc should be the ones saying hey if you're a referee or a judge and you have ever had like a personal relationship with a fighter, you shouldn't be able to ref them, judge them, whatever, right? Even the commentary team too. If said fighter was your training partner, your main training partner, your friend or something like that, why are you a commentary in their fights, right? Yes, I understand you're a commentator. You're gonna be working the entire card. You should be able to what commentate unbiasedly right mark also followed up with this video by saying something about israel that is just throwing me off let's listen to this do you remember when uh, israel adesanya for uh Bahia for the second time in miami i specifically requested not to do that fight because obviously i've done the first and the reason i requested not to do the fight was because i was thinking about izzy you know i was thinking about him and me and him i've I've, I've, been, I've refed him since i've refereed his fight with sean strickland but i actually what i didn't want to do was for izzy to have you know me walk into the dressing room i was thinking of a fighter then this is his night it's all about him and i didn't want to walk into that dressing room and him to have any any form of negative connotation or something like that the thing about mark is he means well he's saying hey i want israel to have his best performance and since he believes that i stopped his first fight with Pereira in the ufc early i don't want to ref his second fight because he's gonna be worried about what i'm gonna do as a referee right but the thing about it is mark is telling us he has a relationship with israel Desaya where he cannot ref his fights fairly. You know what I'm saying? If you are a good referee, it shouldn't matter, right? If you think you're doing your job as the best you can, you should be able to ref any fight. Why not ref Israel's first fight, with, uh, second fight with Pereira and then ref Israel's fight with Sean Strickland? If that's the case, you should say, hey, I cannot guarantee that I won't be biased in Israel's fights, so I'm not gonna ref them at all. I would give him more respect if he did that because I remember when Sean and Israel fought. In the first round, Sean almost finished Israel. And you know the clip I'm talking about. He almost finished Israel. But in the back of my man in the back of my mind when I was first watching this fight, I was like, hey, if that was Israel doing that to Sean, I know Mark would have stopped that fight. And I was thinking it back then, and I never thought about anything of it until now. I was like, maybe I was right. Based off of what Mark is saying in this video, maybe I was right. Maybe if that was is he gave Israel a shot that he wouldn't give Sean Strickland. You know what I'm saying? So that is going to be a huge problem in the UFC because if you are a big enough MMA fan, you would know that a lot of these guys in the UFC have a connection before they enter the UFC. And then we move on. I think the worst person when it comes to commentary and in terms of biasness is Daniel Cormier. Joe Rogan's up there too, but Daniel Cormier, time and time again, he has shown a clear bias towards one fighter. In this clip, Michael Bisman's old co-host, Luis Gomez, was talking about Israel Adesaya versus Jan Bohovic. And if you remember this fight, very controversial. 
because the commentary team with Joe Rogan and DC made it seem like Israel was winning this fight. And then when the judges' scorecards were read, it was four rounds to one for Jan Behovic. And I kept remembering that fight in my head where DC and Joe Rogan were hype up Israel's feints so much. Israel's not doing anything, but they're saying Jan Behovic is fighting for every feint. Even though he's doing the more damaging shots, he's doing in the majority part of the fights, the commentary team made it seem like he was losing. And when DC gets addressed about these biases, he always deflects. And it's really sick. And the UC should really look into that, but I know they're not. But let's, let's take a listen to what he had to say real quick. Not for nothing, I'm not on the, the, the commentating team at all. But what was going on? Were you listening to the commentators? Did you have the volume on? Because he was I did, yeah. sucking Izzy's the whole time. What fight were they watching? I feel like Jan was winning almost the whole time. I mean, I guess it was the early rounds. It was up for debate. But Jan was landing the bigger shots. He was walking him down. I felt like it was all Jan's fight almost the whole time. I guess that I'm, try I'm, I'm confusing the rounds, so I, I don't want to confuse round one and round two. But by round three, I tweeted. I was like, Jan's winning this fight. And people were calling me an idiot. They're like, dude, you don't know what they're talking about. Izzy's killing him. Let what do you think? Do you see how important that is? Because now, when Jan Bohovic does win the fight, people are going to say it was a robbery. This is Daniel Cormier and Tony Ferguson. Interesting enough, I'll give you a little backstory real quick. DC's teammate is Khabib. Tony Ferguson is going to be a fighter on this card. And if you know Tony Ferguson, he hates Khabib and talks a lot of trash about Khabib. Daniel Cormier hates that. And look what Tony says right here. Hey, like, what I'm watch what's going to happen. So watch what's going to happen. And the folks out there, what's going to happen <laughs> is Joe Rogan and Daniel Cormier are going to talk so much shit. But well, why do you think, but Tony, why do you think that though? But in those fights, let me ask you this. That's another fighter, right? I'm like, okay, now Tony, you could say, well, Tony's kind of crazy, right? You could say he lives in his own world and DC is not biased towards him, right? I was like, okay, fair point. That is, a, Tony is a weird person. So you, you could say that and you, you could have a case for that. But let's go to another UFC fighter. Justin Gagey was watching Islam versus Dan Hooker, right? He was not involved in this fight, right? He was just watching it at home, right? And he tweeted this out on DC. So last week after Islam Makhachev defeated Dan Hooker, Justin Gaethje and Daniel Cormier went back and forth on Twitter. Gaethje called out DC for being biased. In a recent interview, Gaethje explains the call out. He said, yeah, it was impressive. Sucks for Dan, late replacement. He wasn't the guy coming off a full camp for Islam. That's what that was. Cormier was incredibly biased. At the end of the day, I love Cormier. I felt it was my job that night to tweet and call it out because that's what I saw. Outside that, it doesn't matter. I think he knows that he should be in an unbiased mindset when he's doing this, and I would hope that's important to him. Well, as you can see, it's not for it to DC, because DC will rep his boys he will make sure his boys are looking good during fights whether they are or aren't it's not his problem he's just gonna make sure of it right and the issue what i have with the ufc is these guys don't get in trouble for this they're able to be biased they're able to skew the public opinions and change how the fight really looks and there's no uh, discipline or recourse from it and then we move on so this was dominic cruz commentating a Khabib versus Connors fight, right? And this guy was a world champion, right? So we got to listen to what he has to say because he's probably given the fans and people who are not experienced in the in MMA the gems of what ha what's going on in this fight. And let's just listen to what he had to say about Connor and Khabib right here. McGregor, those stitches, come on. How many shots can one man take? Two minutes to go in the round. And he's trying to win. He's trying to gas could be about. And he's not. He's taking shots, but they're not the worst shots he could take. He's covered up. They're just. It just doesn't look good. I don't think he's trying to gas could be about. I think he's getting smashed. I think it's a mixture of everything. I don't think he has a choice here. I don't think he's trying to gas about. I think he's getting smashed. Two and three. Yeah, two is either. Look. So listen to that. He's saying, "Hey, McGregor is in the maybe the worst position that you can have in an MMA here." where you're just getting ground and pounded right here, right? And he's saying that he's doing this on purpose to gas Khabib out. Are you telling me that this guy is a, is a world champion, has been doing MMA for such a long time, is actually that dumb? Or he's a fan of Conor or doesn't like Khabib? Which is it? What do you think? There's no way you can do that to Khabib and say, hey, 
you know what? I was just referring, I was just commentating this fight, what I saw. And you saw one guy cover up on the floor taking big shots. And he's saying, oh, this is going to gas could be about. Is Khabib, is Khabib known for gassing out too? If that was the case, you could have like a legitimate claim or something. But he's not. Connor's the guy that gasses out. So it doesn't even make sense. It was so bad that, that Joe Rogan had to check him right there on the spot in front of everybody saying, this guy doesn't have a choice. He's just getting smashed. And that's that's what I'm talking about. Going, going to fights, how can we have people who are commentating to have a clear bias against certain fighters and not get in any trouble for this? And then we move on. This is Daniel Cormier's reaction to John Jones beating Cyril Gunn. Like I said before with Dominic Cruz, Daniel Cormier is a world champion, right? So look how surprised he is when John Jones chokes out Cyril Gunn. You can see Joe Rogan's reaction, you can see Joe Maddox's reaction, you can see DC's reaction, right? And you can't tell me he wasn't pissed that John won this fight. Look at everyone in the background, he gets so ha happy that John won. But look at look at DC here. 40. Jones is just making him carry him. Yes, that's important. Jones is just making him carry him. And he's putting pride. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. You know Daniel Cormier and John Jones hate each other, right? And they did for some time. He can't even be happy for John Jones, even when he stopped fighting, you know? And I kind of understand it. Hey, if a guy took my titles, I'll be pissed too. I don't know if I could ever accommodate his fights without being biased. And that's what I'm talking about. How did the UFC have DC on this card? And look, he ruined John Jones' moment right there. Now, we're going to be like, oh, what is Cyril Gunn tapped to? How bad is Cyril Gunn? 